subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. Are we living in the end times? The Bible prophecies of many events that will occur in the end times. These events can be categorized as natural signs, spiritual signs, sociological signs, technological signs, and political signs. We can look to what the Bible says about these things, and, if the signs are present in abundance, we can be certain that we are, in fact, living in the end times. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11, lists some of the natural signs that will occur before Jesus' second coming. There will be great earthquakes, famines and pestilences in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. As we can witnessing all of these events, that's is happening all across the world, seems to be a warm-up to what is coming next, the birth pangs, as Jesus called them in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 8. The Bible lists both positive and negative spiritual signs. In 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 3 to 4, we discover that many people will follow false teachers. It says, for the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth, and wander off into myths. We see now an increase in cultic groups, heresy, deception, and occultism, with many choosing to follow New Age or pagan religions. On the positive side, Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to 29, prophecies that there will be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Joel's prophecy was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost, and we are still seeing the effects of that outpouring in revivals and spirit-led Christian movements, and in the worldwide preaching of the gospel message. Along with the signs in the natural and spiritual realms, there are signs in society. The immorality rampant in society today is a symptom of mankind's rebellion against God. Abortion, homosexuality, drug abuse, and child molestation are proof that evildoers and impostors will go from bad to worse. We are now living in a hedonistic and materialistic society. People are lovers of themselves, looking out for number one, and doing what is right in their own eyes. All these things, and many more, can be seen around us every day. The fulfillment of some end times prophecies seemed impossible, until the advent of modern technology. Some of the judgments in Revelation are more easily imagined in a nuclear age. In Revelation 13, the Antichrist is set to control commerce by forcing people to take the mark of the beast, and, given today's advances in computer chip technology, the tools he will use may very well be here already. And through the internet, radio, and television, the gospel can now be proclaimed to the entire world. And there are political signs. The restoration of Israel to her land in 1948 is the single most impressive fulfilled prophecy, proving that we live in the end times. At the turn of the 20th century, no one would have dreamed that Israel would be back in her land, let alone occupying Jerusalem. Jerusalem is definitely at the center of geopolitics and stands alone against many enemies. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 3, confirms this. On that day, when all the nations of the earth are gathered against her, I will make Jerusalem an immovable rock for all the nations. All who try to move it will injure themselves. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 and 7, predicted that nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Wars and rumors of wars are definitely characteristic of this present age. These are just a few of the signs that we are living in the end of the age, there are many more. God gave us these prophecies because he does not want anyone to perish and he always gives ample warning before pouring out his wrath. Are we living in the end times? No one knows when Jesus will return. The rapture could occur at any moment, but first, the son of perdition, also known as the Antichrist, should appear. God will deal with sin, either by grace or by wrath. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 36 says, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. Those who do not accept Jesus Christ as their Savior will remain under the Lord's wrath. The good news is that it's not too late to choose eternal life. All that is required is acceptance, by faith, of God's free gift of grace. There is nothing you can do to earn grace, Jesus has paid the price for you. Are you ready for the Lord's return? Or will you experience his wrath? Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.